In this question, I'm going to ask you which of the following are types of ventricular septal defect, or more importantly, which, what is not a type of ventricular septal defect? Perimembranous, trabecular, outlet, inlet, secundum, or malalignment? Think about this and answer. And most people in my previous uh, uh, setting answered secundum, and that's correct. Secundum is, is the correct, incorrect answer in this uh, setting. Secundum is a type of atrial septal defect, not a type of ventricular septal defect. All of the other terms have been used to describe ventricular defects. If you have a small VSD, this is considered to be a right heart volume overload, left heart volume overload, left heart pressure overload, or right heart pressure overload? Pause and answer. Most people here answered a right heart volume overload and followed closely by left heart uh, volume overload. And actually the answer is number two, a left heart volume overload. A small VSD actually generally doesn't overload the right ventricle very much. The blood recirculates back to, through the lungs to the left heart, which sees most of the volume. If you have a perimembranous VSD, this may close by itself with tissue from the aortic valve, mitral valve, pulmonary valve, or tricuspid valve. Pause and answer. And you see the group chose tricuspid valve here, which is the correct answer. The tricuspid valve, as we'll see anatomically, is very close to the, the uh, perimembranous VSD, and this tissue is used to close it. Now, all of the following are typical M mode and 2D findings for a large VSD, except left atrial dilatation, uh, left ventricular dilation, hyperkinetic wall motion, or paradoxical septal motion? Pause and answer. And most people said hyperkinetic wall motion, which is the correct, incorrect answer here. You can see uh, left atrial and left ventricular dilation from a VSD, and paradoxical septal motion is occasionally present because in a large VSD because of the equalization of pressure across the defect. Now, ventricular septal defect is, as I've said before, the most common congenital heart defect, occupying about 25% of all congenital defects. The shunt flow in these should be left to right. Symptoms will depend on the size of the hole, and to make that hole size understandable, we often compare it to the aortic annulus, since a, small, a, a hole of a certain size in a small infant obviously has different significance than a hole of the same size in an older child. If that hole is greater than 50% of the aortic annulus size, we say that's large. But between 25 and 50%, we call that medium, and less than 25% small. Large holes, as I've mentioned in the hemodynamic section, will often result in pulmonary edema, and usually ventricular septal defect is an isolated defect. Here's a cartoon showing the anatomy of the various types of ventricular septal defects. This is a right ventricular view. The perimembranous defects shown here are uh, located inferior to the tricuspid valve. So this is the tricuspid valve annulus. Defect on the right ventricular side would be here, and I want you to pay attention to that. Supracrystal defects, a less common defect, are found out near the pulmonary valve, distal to the crista supraventricularis in the outflow tract. So these are often also called subpulmonary VSDs. Muscular defects may be found anywhere in the muscular trabecular septum. And inlet VSDs are the defects that we see, generally speaking, in, set, in the setting of atrioventricular canal or atrioventricular septal defects. They are found posteriorly and near the AB valves. 
If we flip this heart over and look at this same setting from the left ventricular side, the perspective changes a little bit, and this is important. The perimembranous defect, which you will recall was right underneath the tricuspid valve on the right ventricular side, now is a subaortic defect when looked at from the left ventricular side. The supracrystal defect, which was a subpulmonary defect, is also a subaortic defect when looked at from the left ventricular side, but much more anterior. Again, muscular defects are found anywhere in the muscular trabecular septum. And inlet defects are more posterior, near the AV valves from the left ventricular side, in and around the mitral valve.